Hello class, my name is Marissa Ortiz and today I'm going to be talking to you about reproductive cancers. First off, let's talk about cancer. Cancer is a very dangerous disease where abnormal cells divide uncontrollably. When the disease progresses, these cells can form tumors. Cancer has the ability to spread affecting to spread affecting crucial bodily functions. Early detection is very key to survival. There are many different types of cancers and are generally named for their place of working. Now let's talk about reproductive cancers. Reproductive cancers are cancers involved in the reproductive organs. They're usually located in the pelvis for both men and women. Today, I will be going over the most common types for each gender, symptoms of reproductive cancer, screening options, along with treatment options, and current use. Here you can see the male reproductive system. The most common types of cancers in men are penile, occurring in the penis of a man, testicular, occurring in one or both testicles, and prostate, located between the bladder and the penis. Symptoms of reproductive cancers in men can include pain or discomfort. In penile cancer, you might also experience redness, itchiness, along with a sore lump on the penis. For testicular cancer, it's common to experience aching in the lower abdomen, along with swelling or a lump on the testicles. For prostate cancer, since the, since the urethra runs through the center of the prostate from the bladder to the penis, a person it's common to experience irregular urinary flow, which can include weak flow, blood in the urine, or need to pass urine often. Here you can see the female reproductive system. The most common types of cancer in women are uterine, involved in the womb, cervical, located in the lower end of the uterus that attaches to the vagina, ovarian in one or both of the ovaries, vaginal cancer in the hollow channel from the outside of the body to the uterus, and vulvar cancer located along the outside of the vagina. Common symptoms for women with reproductive cancer usually include vaginal bleeding for all cancers except for vulvar cancer. You might also experience a regular discharge for those types of cancers. For uterine, ovarian, and vulvar cancer, it's common to feel pressure and pain in the pelvic area, in the belly, or in the lower back. In vulvar cancer, you might also experience itching, burning, or sores along the opening of the vagina. There are a couple of screening options for early detection. For men, there are no screening tests for detecting testicular or penile cancer until you experience symptoms. But for screening for prostate, there are two different types of tests. The first is the PSA test, which involves testing levels of a prostate-specific antigen. High PSA levels indicate prostate cancer. The other screening option is a rectal exam, where a doctor inserts the glove finger into the rectum to check for lumps on the prostate or in a large prostate. It is recommended that men over 45 get screened at least once a year for prostate cancer. For women, a pap smear is the only detection option. And this is only used to detect cervical cancer. It involves collecting cells from the cervix, from the lining of the cervix, and testing and testing. It is recommended that women over the age of 21 get tested at least three times a year. It is recommended that women over the age of 21 get tested every three years. There are several treatment options. There are several treatment options for reproductive cancers, which are usually applied to all cancers. Surgery to remove a tumor, radiation, and chemotherapy to kill the cancer cells. Reproductive cancers specifically, however, can also be treated using hormone therapy. This is used to block the hormone cancer. This is used to block the hormone causing cancer growth. The oncologist 
to decipher which treatment is best specific to the patient or which combination of treatments is the best plan of action. Current, in current news, there has been research, new research in detecting prostate cancer with using, diffu with using diffusion MRI. Diffusion MRI is different from a regular MRI because instead of blood, a diffusion MRI picks up the diffusion in water, of water in the tissue. Because tumors have tissues denser than healthier, denser than healthy tissue, diffusion MRI has seen increased rates of detection. Also, the FDA has recently approved a new drug called Lomparza. This is used to treat advanced stage ovarian cancer. It's specific to advanced stage to women who have advanced stage ovarian cancer and those with the defective BRCA gene causing that cancer. The drug is a poly-ADP ribose polymerase inhibitor that blocks enzymes in repairing damaged DNA. So in conclusion, reproductive cancers can occur in both men and women in different parts of the reproductive organs. Early detection and screening is key to stopping the cancer before it spreads. New research methods are aiming towards presenting the spread and curing advanced stages. This concludes the end of my presentation. Thank you.